Today we help you streamline your editing process in HitFilm using hotkeys. Now I know I usually keep my tutorials possible to do in any software or with any camera, but today we are going to be focusing on just HitFilm hotkeys. That's why I'm doing this as a bonus episode, not a usual Monday episode. When I first started using HitFilm, I was really upset because most of the hotkeys I had learned over time in Adobe no longer worked in HitFilm. So I decided to make this video to help those of you who are just starting out with HitFilm, or even if you had had it for a while, learn all the hotkeys you need to know to streamline your editing process. My favorite and most used hotkeys are the period and comma keys. These are used for advancing in the timeline one frame at a time. Period for going forwards one frame, comma for going backwards one frame. Going frame by frame is necessary for lining up effects, especially ones that need to start at a certain point, like muzzle flashes or for sound effects like gunfire. I use these keys all the time. I even use them several times when editing this video. Next up is the C key. This is for switching to the slice tool while in the editor. It saves time not having to switch back and forth with the mouse. Also for use in the timeline is the normal selection tool. This is used to drag and drop clips and slide them around in the timeline. The hot key for this is V. Still in the timeline panel is the rate stretch tool used for slowing down and speeding up whole clips very quickly. To switch back to this tool quickly is the S key. Most of these are obvious once you think about them, but it's not really something you would guess to try. Our next one is no exception, save. This is the same in almost any software, control S. There is nothing more aggravating than having edited an entire project and then having it disappear because you forgot to push save. So make sure to hit that control S plenty. Next we have control M. This is a quick way to make your selected clip into a composite shot. This is another one I use quite often. Our last one I don't use much, but it's still very useful to know. Control alt a This creates a new plane. Planes are the one kind of layer other than a footage layer that I use in almost every project for some reason or another. But that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to let us know in the comments if you think we should make more bonus videos instead of just making videos every Monday.